Alright, big dog. So first off, I don't know how this video is gonna look because I'm gonna sit in the floor of my closet to make this video. So um don't complain about the quality or anything. Get over it. I'm not editing it either. I also don't feel very good today. Um, I woke up this morning and was throwing up bile, so but um I feel better and I feel like I was like, um, it has been so long since I've came on here and talked to you guys. And so I'm like I think I'm home alone right now. My sister might be home, but I don't know. So, I figured, let me just come on here and give you guys a little chat on where I am and why I stopped making videos for a minute. So, I... <sighs> okay, so I've had some really great things happen since I have taken a break, I guess, from YouTube. I have, um, I got a job at a local pumpkin patch. I'm really excited about that. I start September 20 21st and um it is only like a seasonal job but it's still exciting you know first job like first legit job that's not working for my dad so that's really exciting and um what else i went to the wilson county state fair with uh, ffa and we did the poultry judging competition and that went really well i think we placed like 24 to 48 for you know the, my teammate did not study at all went into it completely blind and i had, went in with like minimal studying so and so to place as high as we did was really really epic and then um i went to my first ffa chapter meeting that was really fun um i've made so i, I don't think i can't say i've made some new friends i've just gotten closer with friends that i was friends with last year and you know, I've gotten closer with a lot of my older friends from middle school and things like that who, like, we've been friends and whatever. But, you know, we've gotten closer over the past couple of weeks and months and whatever. Um, I just want to start off with the positives that's going on because, unfortunately, there's a lot of negatives. But I don't want to focus on the negatives so much and let those outweigh the positives. So... To start off, which is like the most minuscule thing, sorry, there's a hair right here and I can't stop staring at it. So this is something that has happened at the beginning of this month um, that is very minuscule, like I'm not dealing with it anymore or anything like that. I haven't talked to this person since October or August 2nd, so it's done with this. I was, I started talking to a person in FFA who is very well known, okay? He is a, his chapter president, he, he's the president of his chapter, so, and he, I think him and I have, like, 20 or 30 mutuals on Instagram, things like that, so, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of, um, like, people who know who he is, and he reached out to me one day and just started talking, and we were talking, and then he ended up ghosting me, I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but he ended up ghosting me. Which, that sucks. If you've ever been ghosted, you know it really, really, really sucks. Um, so that happened, and, you know, it's been a couple weeks now. I'm over it. I'm done with it. Whatever. But that did happen, and it wasn't, wasn't awesome, you know, to waste your time talking to somebody who just, like, left. You know? You know, if you've ever been ghosted, you know the feeling. Um, and then what's actually, like, really going on and why I've really just, like, shut up and quit posting is that, um... I am moving out of my mom's house, or I'm being kicked out. I don't even know anymore. So, let's get down in the story. So, last month, Friday, or no, um, yeah, last Friday, um, August 16th, I, or no, so it started Thursday, August 15th. I texted my, my, my dad texted my mom and told her that I wanted to go over, ride the bus from her house to his house home from school, and that I didn't want to go home uh, because I had to study for poultry um, because that was my, my competition was on Monday and I needed to study. And I can't do that when she's going to, you know, her weekend plans is what she said. She's not elaborating on what we're supposed to be doing so i'm just you know you're not going to elaborate on why it's important that i'm going to go do what's more important for me if you understand you understand so um i ended up just riding the bus home even though she told me not to and i have not been home since it has been exactly a week since i have not seen gone home and seen her and the whole situation is absolutely garbage i don't want to go into too many details but Let's just say my mother is being absolutely childish in the sense that 
she literally changed the deadbolt on my front door so I cannot get any of my shit. Yeah. So hopefully if I'm lucky we will go over there today and, you know, I'm getting my shit. And, you know, I'll take it outside with her Brantley Gilbert style if I have to. Because I'm just done. Like, I'm done with the childishness. I mean, she deleted my profile on her Hulu account. And she stopped putting money in my lunch account for school. Just to, like, so, so just a couple examples of how petty and childish she is being over this situation. Like, it's just ridiculous, guys. And I just wanted to give you a little, like, life update, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think this might be a serious. Life updates from the closet. I think that's kind of funny. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much what's uh, happening. And... I just kind of wanted to give y'all a little update because I don't know, I felt like it. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good Sunday. If you went to church, I hope you had a good time at church. Hope you had a good lunch or brunch afterwards or whatever. Hope you guys are just doing good. Have a good Sunday. Get ready for Monday. Going back to work. Going back to school. Whatever. You know, have a good day, guys. I love you.